Los Angeles Times on April 21st, you said that the, you told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Would you explain what you were trying to say? Well, it, it, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, but that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. You might want to touch base That's with right, Senator but I, Pell. I just want to repeat Speaking. before so, I turn to So yes, but well, we do have all that information. You're saying the government has created weather tampering techniques so that the, quote, new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans worldwide, millions of Americans, and to control the rest. Yes, sir, and that's my belief. As bizarre as that sounds, when if somebody had told me that that equipment even existed 10 years ago, I would have thought they were nuts, sir. And at this point in time, we have all the documents to prove it. And if you think that 85 tornadoes takes place in the middle of our growing area by simultaneous accident, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, the equipment that's already set up internationally, and as bizarre as that is, it is proven and documented. We will supply you with those documents. As bizarre as that is, I would say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually, Senator Claiborne Pell himself that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world and that's the senator's own statement so yes I have to do stand on that thank you Mr. Fletcher thank you Mr. Chairman thank you very much this matters going forward we're in a, we're in a live exercise here live exercise what's up sky watchers what is up indeed solar geoengineering the greatest weapon ever created Let's not forget about the weapons that also attack the mind from global warming science to pole shift. All created so you can't see what is actually happening, but I will show you. All right, let's watch a couple clips and then we'll get right into it. Research claiming, quote, solar radiation modification would enable better informed decisions about the potential risk and benefits of SRM as a component of climate policy alongside the foundational elements of greenhouse gas emissions mitigation. Our next guest warns this is simply government's way to control your weather. Mark Morano, publisher of ClimateDepot.com, and he joins us now. Okay, Mark, you know, my take this morning was maybe this is one of those or else, you know, get on board with everything else or we're going to block the sun. But I guess it's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more reality than that. Tell us about it. Well, this is actually Bill Gates funding this as well through Harvard University. Okay. This is retro 1970s. In the 1970s, they believed that our uh, fossil fuels were creating aerosols, blocking the sun, creating man-made global cooling. So they came up with the same kind of geoengineering solutions back then. They wanted to put black soot on the Arctic to melt it. There was one proposal to use nuclear energy to help loosen the Arctic ice caps because they thought they were growing too much. Uh, and John Holdren, back in the Obama administration, also supported this kind of geoengineering, if you will, of the climate. This is radical, risky, unproven, unknown effects, but they're doing it as a sort of lever over us to say now in the Biden administration, kind of like, yeah, we know this is dangerous, we don't know the effects, but darn it, people aren't buying electric cars fast enough, or they're not embracing Green New Deal policies, so we have to risk our entire planet with this insane kind of research. It's basically weather modification. China's been doing it for years. It's another form of what the U.S. government has even been doing. The, the ABC News, what meteorologists brag about the cloud seeding they're doing to increase yeah. rain or snow and storms. They will control, the, the government will control the weather and you will be happy. That's what they're doing is creating a virtual antenna in the sky that radiates extremely low frequency signals that travel worldwide and can be heard in the deepest depths of our oceans. This virtual antenna is called a ionospheric Alvin resonator, IAR, is using the ionosphere as an antenna. So it could be considered a geophysical weapon. Heating the ionosphere with high frequency radio waves will produce alphan waves and magnetosonic waves, MS waves, standing oscillations of the geomagnetic field lines which behave as strings with ends fixed in the ionosphere. So when you move it up here, a standing wave can occur along these magnetic field lines and compressive magnetohydrodynamic waves, magnetosonic waves, come straight through. Now, magnetosonic are the lowest of low frequencies there are. We're talking zero to like one hertz. Right here, you're gonna see spectrum for harp ULF start experiment, ambient noise. There's the Schumann resonance right there. And then 60 hertz, you can see now harp has been turned on. Do you see the difference? This was our ionosphere, naturally occurring, nothing happening. Ambient noise, they call it. 
Now they turn harp on. Spectrum at harp ULF start. Noise increase by 10 to 20 decibels between 0.7 to 10 hertz. And our Schumann resonance, our heartbeat of our planet, has now disappeared. It's gone. And there's now a spike at 60 hertz, which I don't know if you know this, but happens to be the same tone that's in your wall, in your electricity, that drives you batshit crazy. Ionospheric elven resonator heard throughout the atmosphere and down into the ocean depths? Well, I guess I can see what's causing the whales to beach themselves. I can hear and feel these frequencies as well, and it's driving me batshit crazy. When we look deep into what the government, military, and dark occult scientists are doing in every layer of the atmosphere, lithosphere, and deep in the ocean, we can start to see what drives their climate science and feeds pole shift science and many other communities, from the Schumann resonance to the grand solar flash. It is not the sun, but rather solar geoengineering. The climate is not changing, but it's being engineered. You might ask why. Well, it is no secret that there is a depopulation agenda underway. There is, however, cognitive dissonance. Many do not recognize that this is happening and the collapse is well underway. This is only the beginning of the Great Reset. When we dismiss information in order to make our own math and science fit our own narrative, we keep our communities wrapped up in neat boxes, tied up with ribbons of truth to hold them in. Only comprehensive knowledge using all the ribbons from all the boxes woven together can provide us with the rope of truth we need to climb out and set our minds free. Before we get to the next part of the video, I'd like to thank Crazy Tacos, Alex Hammer, Kathy, Sharon Stoles, and someone. Thank you for buying me a coffee. It really keeps me going. And that's from the heart. This is the new, the next generation radar. So you see, they use the radar to actually the effective electronic radar. Okay. They don't so these are, these are simultaneously in every direction. Right. So these are divine. Kind of that, those are four panels. Yeah. So it's omnidirectional. Instead of waiting for the sweep each time, you guys are getting everything at the same time. It's almost one second update. Wow. And within that, if you have a, a storm, so if you look over there at the distance you see, it's a priority of storm. Uh, electronic scan array radar can direct a beam or beam steer energy at the storm while also. Electronic scan array radar can direct a beam or beam steer energy at the storm while also doing its general surveillance yeah. job. So it's still looking at 360 degrees, but it can dedicate a steered beam at that high priority thread. Okay. Which then provides you get a high resolution target on it. Yeah. Uh, wow. And it's networked. So all of these systems, all these radar systems are working together to overlay their returns. Now, what? Directed beams? Beam steering? This most definitely sounds like a weapon. So let me show you what I see. First, they deploy the stratospheric aerosols, chemtrails, at differing levels in the atmosphere. I believe the X is not only a signature, but the spot in the atmosphere that gets heated. Heating this area of the atmosphere, where chemicals and heavy metals have already been sprayed, initializes an alchemical process thereby creating an atmospheric lens. This is my theory. I've used government information, scientific papers, I've documented this process in my own sky. I've taken more than a thousand photographs, made more than a hundred videos. The entire creation of these atmospheric lenses can be observed on a regular basis. I'm sure many of you have observed this process as well. It is my position that these tools are involved in every aspect of the seemingly natural but decidedly unnatural disasters, leading to total climate chaos. So until next time, stay aware, be prepared, and keep looking up.